A man should never ask his woman to contribute financially in the relationship. Men who ask women for money are insecure in their masculinity. As soon as a man asks a woman to contribute, to split bills, to contribute to rent, to go 50-50, because they're partners, because they're team, and it's only fair, this man will grow resentful of his woman. Why? Because he pushed her into his masculine energy. End of the day, when he comes home, she's not the feminine, beautiful, playful, charming, seductive, feminine energy woman that she once was, because the woman is pulling her weight and paying, she will become more demanding. She owns half of the place. She is splitting the bills. She is just as much of a partner pulling her weight as the men. So therefore, both are equals. Men and women are both equals. They share the same energy. He will have to ask her for things. He will have to check in with her when it comes to certain things around the household, furniture, bills. Things they want to pay for around the house, things they want to do for groceries. Everything is now run by the woman because naturally women are very much focused on the household and family and everything already as it is. Now, if the woman is also paying and contributing for the household, for the bills, for the rent and everything, she becomes naturally even more demanding and more in control. So all of a sudden, what happens is the man will resent the woman, even though he was thinking he was being smart, saving money because she's a partner. He actually will grow resentful of her because the woman now is in her masculine energy. She's running the entire household. She's stepping into her leadership role, into control and into charge, which results in the man feeling smaller, more insecure, very controlled and emasculated. In other words, he will be running off to the pub with the boys every evening. He will sit on his couch playing PlayStation, crunching on his chips. He's rather on his phone watching TikToks and spending time with her. He doesn't take her out for dinner dates anymore because this man is drained because he lost his beautiful feminine woman. He created a equal team partner that he pushed into her masculine energy. So it's no one's fault but his. So men, if you're watching this, stop asking women to split the bill because you pay a much higher price than just paying the actual bill. Ladies, if you're watching this, first of all, a man should never ask you to go 50-50, okay? Because clearly he's insecure and clearly he wants to save money or is not really doing well for himself. So you are becoming his doormat and placeholder to keep building him. So one day he can go to his dream girl that he would never even ask for a single penny for. But secondly, also if you're in a position where your man is asking you for money, you need to pull away and you need to set boundaries and say you cannot contribute because your existence, what you're doing around the household, looking after the children, your feminine energy, everything you are as a woman that you contribute to the household, okay? Your energy, your femininity, you looking after the children, you looking after yourself, you being a man's biggest attribute and investment, almost like a trophy. Okay, that that is so much more valuable and so much more worthy of you contributing financially to the household. In this economy, almost everyone is struggling unless you are rich. If the man that you are with is a hard worker but cannot pay 100% of the bills right now, I don't see a problem with you, the woman helping him out, especially if you guys are trying to build something together. There's only a small percent of men making enough to pay all the bills and still have some money for a rainy day. Men nowadays don't have it easy at all. Too many unrealistic standards and expectations. We really need to get back to reality and stop with all this nonsense when it comes to dating and relationships. Fellas, you should never listen to women like this when it comes to dating advice. They are not capable of logical thinking. The bottom line is, she's looking for a dummy to use, that's why she's talking like that. Women like her are trying to shame men into slaving for them. Life is already hard out here. Don't allow women like this to stress you. But hey, let me know what you think in the comments down below.